Welcome to another episode of One on One with Glenn and Brent. Brent. I'm Brent. And I'm Glenn, just as famous as Brent. Equally famous to children all around the world. And uh, this week we are here to give a preview of the forthcoming UK UFL matchup. Before we do that, though, let's just briefly look at the season so far. We've been steamrolling cupcakes. It's not very satisfying, although it is amusing to see a team actually score. 30, 40 points every game over the opponent every game they play. I would say that any um, one thinking about the upcoming season during the summer would say that couldn't have been couldn't have asked for anything more than what we've got. The two transfers, exactly what you might have hoped. Mm-hmm. Um, you see growth in a lot of the two-year players, and definitely the freshmen are as good as advertised, and you could tell how good they eventually will be. Yeah, I am very impressed with the play of especially Ray Spaulding and uh, Donovan Mitchell has made a big impression as well. Ding, Ding Adele has been hurt, so I'm not even sure what he is anymore. Yeah, who can we say? We barely uh, know much, but um, he's still billed as the best defender on the team. They never stop talking about that, the coaches. So. And hopefully we'll have him back in time for the UK. Game. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I've been very impressed with our freshman. <coughs> uh, Ray Spaulding, like I said, he's got that reach. He's got, um, he is long. He needs more muscle, obviously. He's a Thin little kid, but uh, man, I think he's going to be a huge player for us down the road. But he's making an impact already, immediately, which you yeah. don't often see that with the freshman on UofL. And I really like the athleticism of Donovan Mitchell. He can get to the basket, he can shoot. Uh, he still makes dumb mistakes, here, you know, freshman mistakes here and there. But again, this is only December. So uh, the team, I am really enjoying this team. I really had no idea what to expect, but the leadership and scoring, as advertised from Lee and Lewis, uh, coupled with actually talented freshmen who are making an impact right out of the gate is made for a very entertaining and likable team that that seems to enjoy playing they seem to have good chemistry and legitimate depth mm-hmm. i mean i think um tino will probably shorten his bench probably starting with the uk game but i'd still say we'll play 10 guys consistently yeah and you know you have four four guards i think you can count on maybe donovan mitchell you know a step below the other three yeah uh, but sure. you definitely have uh, depth uh, at the center position, center slash power forward, mm-hmm. interchangeable, not really interchangeable, but different guys that bring different things. Well, when you can start one of your seven-footers in the four spot, and that's kind of a luxury that you don't have to use him as your center if you can play, you know, Chinanu or uh, Mango, whoever, at the five and still have your seven-footer coming off the bench and making an impact. Uh, I'd like to see him get better hands. Uh, I think um, Anas Mahmoud has good footwork, Good moves, gets to the basket. He just isn't finishing as strong as we he would to do. start for a lot of teams. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I think again, just a fre- uh, just a sophomore, uh, big things to be expected there down the road. And even in the last game, Mott's Stockman finally he got a dunk and then a basket and a rebound. Definitely the best few minutes he's had on the floor so far. Uh, he still doesn't look like a, someone you can play very much, but yeah. he's starting to look like someone who's comfortable playing. Yeah, he's like starting last to year. He just looked like uh, he was afraid to be in America. Yeah. Well, we are, are all are to a certain extent. Now, um, so this year, again, loading up, we're destroying these cupcake teams, 30, 40 points. We're hanging on them. We had an actual test against Michigan State. We fell short four points on the home floor of the now number one team in the nation, a very good Michigan State team. So that actually gave us an idea of what kind of team we have. So that should tell us something about going into the big matchup against UK. Now, we have a game tomorrow night we're not really worrying about. We have a game against Western Kentucky we're probably not really worrying about. Our attention... We hope the team pays attention to those folks, those teams, and doesn't overlook them. But now our hearts and the hearts of many fans, we're only thinking about UK and what we can get done against them this year. It's the stupid game we have to play every year where most of the people in the state are mad at us when we beat them, mad at us when we don't beat them. They just hate us and make us feel bad no matter what happens, and it's just very annoying. It's a lot of stress for no reason. It's not even a game we have to have. And frankly, we they have our number even when we are seen as the better team often. Mm-hmm. You know, like that year um, Archie Goodwin team from a few years ago, we just barely beat them. They were as bad as they could be. Uh, it's just a, a very frustrating experience every year that comes along. I don't know why I'm put through it. Um, <laughs> 
it is very stressful. But I will say, for the first time in a long time, I feel pretty good going into the game. I feel like uh, this is a UK team that we can beat. Now, I'm not guaranteeing it, but I like our depth. I like our ability to score. I like our length. I like how we match up against UK. That's that's the key for me. I think we match up with them. I'm not saying we're going to beat them. I think uh, they still have a lot of talent. Yeah. Uh, but for once, I think we match up with them in terms of the length and you know a lot of size and a guard play. We might uh, we might have them with uh, we might have the edge in guard play, which often determines the winner in po- college basketball. Well. Yeah, I think with the with uh, the experience of Lee and Lewis, we definitely have more experience with our shooters than they do, obviously. And I think they'll be inspired to uh, play very well, especially since they knew they had that Michigan State game in their hand. Yeah, this is like chance number two to take one of those big games because we haven't had a big win yet. Yeah, no, we until the Michigan State game, we really had nothing. Oddly, we lost to Michigan State and still went up in the polls because of our performance on the national stage. Everyone saw how good we looked. We just fell a little short in that game. But here we have the chance to erase any doubt that we are legit this year. We beat UK. We're a top 10 team. So, coming up, do you want to make a prediction? I'm saying I feel confident we're going to win. I'm not I'm sure about the score, though. It, it could be kind of a dogfight, something maybe in the 60s, mid-60s, something like that. I could see that, but these are... Two big scoring teams. I could see it being in the 70s. Right. Bell has no problem scoring. Um, if you want a prediction from me, you know, UK has a lot of talent. Uh, so my heart says that we're going we're gonna to edge them by like seven points. And my head says we're going to edge them by six points. Okay, I'm going to go with that. I see no reason to contradict that. We're going with Glenn's prediction. Edging UK out by six points. There you have it, folks. That's pretty much all we have. We hope you enjoy your uh, holidays. Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, I assume this will go up shortly before Christmas, shortly before the game. Uh, as always, please check out our YouTube channel, Two Men, One Couch. Please check us out on Twitter, at Glenn and Brent. Yep. Please email us with Brent and Glenn at gmail.com. Please buy a copy of the Debutante Centennial. <laughs> it came out in fall of uh, 2010. Yeah. Uh, there aren't many copies left, so you might, might want to get that. They are flying off the shelves. Um, please uh, visit Brent's Instagram page. It's um, Brent is angry. Brent is angry at Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's not uh, at Instagram. It's just Brent is angry on Instagram. Uh, yes, Brent is. A, he has a lot to say and he has a lot to, a lot of pictures I to take. I very himself. rarely post on there. I forget I have the account most of the time. We could use some gun control in America too, right? Okay, we're going to close this down. All right, thanks everyone very much for watching, and uh, here's all the stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Go Cards!